Well, hey there, everyone, and uh, welcome back. It was an incredible day for us in our three-day quarterly intensive that we do for folks on Wealth Charts and BecomeABetterTrader.com. An incredible lineup of speakers. Uh, I ended off the day uh, with uh, live analysis on what the FOMC had to do. And we've got a power pack two days ahead of us as well of great insights, trading, strategies that mentors use, and of course, some of the hottest tips and tricks out there on an incredible platform that we've utilized yet again. The tools that I'm going to show you right now are ones that come with your Wealth Charts membership and the strategies around them, as you've heard Rob teach you about, who's built these tools, 32 time, real money, live, and on-site, international domestic trading champion. You can see that the Champion Trend Pack Toolkit on a weekly basis, each bar is a week, been in a buy zone since the bottoming area back in October, at the end of October last year. We've played a sequence of signals out that tells us we're in the latter stages of this move up. And a pullback to refuel would not be off base. But I want to stress that if you take a look at the signals that the Champion Trend Pack gave us back before we entered 2022, or even the drop into the lows in October last year, we had plenty of warning well ahead of the drop. Negative momentum shifts, price action, seeing some discontinuity in the champion cross signal, the spike 2.0 tool, giving us warnings with a fast spike moving below the top of the channel, and then the slow spike coming down below the top of the channel. Well, if you take a look at present day, we do have some warnings, but we're not yet at that stage of completion. Now we can add to that the daily chart, which if you take a look at the bigger picture on the daily chart from the last area where we got our buy signal state in play, we've played out the sequence of buy signals. We restarted and continued to expand. And the last restart happened right back over here where we broke that negative divergence that was in the uh, middle of January, January the 19th. And we did get another signal, but we started to see some warnings here with the fast spike coming down below the top of the channel, telling us that we're still in an uptrend, but we're seeing some fragility. We saw that amplified by the four hour chart signals. And as you can see the four hour chart signals, and this was from the midpoint of January into the end of last week, that fast spike was continuing to warn us that there may be some trouble. So we're looking for completion of the move up a pullback to refuel, and then another bounce higher likely. Well, we're in that pullback to refuel, courtesy of the Fed, not giving the market what they may have expected, which was no incremental hawkishness and perhaps a little bit more stress on rates are gonna come down sooner than later. We didn't hear that today from their statement. And that effectively caused the dollar to pop up. It gave us enough volatility rise to cause a little crack in the market, but that crack has not broken the uptrend formations on a weekly chart, daily chart, and of course, even on the four hour chart. Nonetheless, we were left in a signal state into the end of the day that suggests there may still be a little bit more of a dip that can take us down to the bottom of the moving support and resistance channel, that rising channel, ahead of a follow on bounce from there. Now that risk can be triangulated down to the $480 area, but if broken, we do see the channel on the daily chart as the next major support area. And that would be 476.55 down to 472.83 as the next zone. The most important and first support zone indicated on the daily chart is the champion trend and champion cross nexus right there, the lower bound of which is at 479. A pullback to test the 480 area ahead of a potential bounce from there is what is in play right now. And the toolkit gave us enough warning in advance to say we're in a completion move. And what you heard on videos just like these last week, this week, looking for the market to come up into the range between 490 and 495 and then give us a little pullback to refuel before another attempt up. We did start off the week with a push up on Yellen News. We did get Powell playing bad cop today and the pull down has not broken the backs of the market, but 
has not completed in and of itself as well. Looking for a potential dip and bounce to play out tomorrow, but do keep in mind, Apple is after the bell tomorrow, and of course, Amazon as well. Those trillion dollar club earners didn't do as well yesterday, that was Microsoft and Google. So there is more pessimism out there. The higher the pessimism, the better the chances are. We don't actually see it become a big, big negative. Looking forward to sharing insights with you in the days to come. A dip down towards the 480 area ahead of a bounce is looking as more likely from a signal state. What to do about it does depend on how a bounce plays out. More on that in videos to come. Looking forward to seeing everyone for our next day of our three-day annual member intensive, which starts tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Kicks off with CJ and John on the hottest tips and tricks on wealth charts. Incredible power-packed insight and information with incredible tools to help manage risk and make better decisions each day in markets. Can't wait to see you there. For those that are wealth charters and uh, those that are on becomeabettertrader.com, looking forward to that and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you kindly for watching and bye for now.